In preparation for hurricane season, it'd be a good idea for livestock producers to, to review their, their health program because there's always the potential that animals may be relocated to a, a shelter or another farm to get them out of danger's way. And the other situation that could arise is, um, you know, storms can do a lot of damage, uh, knock fences down, and potentially then in that situation, animals could commingle with other herds as well and just be exposed to other infectious diseases. So, so having a herd health program up to date, having vaccinations up to date would be a good thing. Another situation that, uh, that could arise is when animals are commingled, trying to get them back to their proper owner. So animal identification is very important and it needs to be unique animal identification, something that is specific to that animal and to that farm. <clears throat> so for example, hot brands, uh, USDA, metal ear tags, electronic identification tags, those would, could all be potentially unique animal identification as opposed to say a dangle tag with just a number on it. You know, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of black cows in Alabama that probably have an ear tag number 26 in their ear, for example. So it needs to be something unique to that particular animal so that, that people can get the animals back to their, to their proper farms. Of course, making sure that uh, you have all the equipment on hand that you need to, to respond to, to a potential disaster, making sure that you have feed and water available. Um, and in storage for one to two weeks potentially. For stored feed, it needs to be stored in a, in a, in a dry, safe place. And it, and it needs to be some place that's, that's fairly secure so that you do have good, healthy, wholesome feed to, to provide your, your livestock after a, a disaster. If you're on a, a, a well water source, having hand pumps or generators available in case um, electricity is disrupted would, would be would be all be important things to consider. Ahead of time, livestock producers should prioritize their animals so that they can be sure that those animals, if animals do have the opportunity or the need to be evacuated, those animals with a high priority can then be evacuated first or looked after first. If the producer knew which animals were maybe getting ready to calve or, or kid or fall, whatever the case may be, put them in a, in a location where they can maybe check on them uh, first to make sure that there haven't been any complications or any issues that arise during the during the storm. If you are in an area that is prone to flooding, for example, move move your animals to higher ground and ideally keep them out of barns. They're, they're usually going to be better left in large open spaces as opposed to confined to a barn. The last thing you want to do is put your animals in there and then have the storm destroy that building with all your animals in it. So they're usually going to be better off on high ground in large open spaces. Particularly if the horses are not used to being out in a pasture, in that situation it may be safer and a better idea to leave them in a stall in a secure building. Because the last thing you'd want to have happen is a, is a, is a storm to come in, scare the horses, frighten the horses, and, and they you know, don't know how to handle that, don't know what to do, and they may end up injuring themselves more so than the storm.